what is redux if i start by saying it is a library which is used to manage global state you will not understand so let's see one important concept in react to understand why we actually need redux as we all know react is all about building reusable components and each component's data can be handled using state for example i have app component user component and form component and both this user and form component are inside this app component so our app becomes parent component and user and form becomes child components and both are called as sibling components now inside my form component i am having the state which is simply an object which has username email password and verified properties and inside user component also i am having its own state which is also an object and that contains empty array of users so in react each and every component will be having their own data and ui logic so whenever there is any change in the data the components will be re-rendered to keep the data in sync with our ui but now what i want i want to display the username who has logged in inside my user component but this entire state is present inside form component now the problem is i cannot send the data from form component to user component because they are sibling component and whenever we want to send any data from one component to another that component has to be parent component only then we can send data from parent component to child component so in this case what we will do we will pass entire state of the form inside our app component and later on this data can be passed both to user component and form component using the concept of props once i have the data then user component can easily display the username in ui so here comes the concept of lifting the state up why because from sibling component we cannot pass any data but if you are having entire state inside the parent component easily we can access that data using props now instead of doing all this thing what we can do we can create separate container inside which we are going to pass entire application state that is state from form component and state from user component and this is how our state will be represented we are having complete state from form component and we are having complete state from user component so this container will be holding entire application state and in context of redux this is called as store so our store is going to manage entire state of our application now easily if my user component needs the data it can request the store and in return it will be getting the data once it has the data it can easily display username so in this case we don't have to lift the state up because our entire state is managed in one central place but now you might have questions like why it's necessary we have only two components and for that using redux would be tiresome we have other options like use state use red user use context to manage state then why do we need another tool to help manage that state if you are thinking this then you are right for this example if you don't use redux then it's fine you can simply use u state with less coding before starting with redux if you have understanding of use red user hook from react then it will be a plus point for you but let me show you another example with this you will be satisfied why we need redux and you will stick till end of the course in this complete course i will be sharing you lots of tips and interview questions to master redux